going guys this is WWE Movie Maker and I am back with another video today uh, I'm not uh, really here to talk to you about NXT TakeOver I think you guys know NXT TakeOver and Backlash um, they will be happening uh, this weekend NXT TakeOver is happening tonight Backlash is happening this Sunday and uh, you know make sure you tune into that um, this is just a uh, another wrestling uh, sort of news article that I have for you. Um, this is regarding more about John Bradshaw Layfield. Uh, Davy Boy Smith Jr. talks about JBL and the Mar Ronaldo controversy. He also talks about an incident with JBL that he had in Toronto. So let's get right into this news. We had Davy Boy Smith Jr. recently who did an interview with Hannibal TV. Uh, to talk about the issues between JBL and Mauro Nalo, you can check out the highlights uh, right here on a uh, WrestlingInc.com. The bizarre incident in Toronto with JBL, where JBL said his family couldn't save him from the beating he was going to take because they were dead before squashing Smith. Oh my God! And then he he this is what he said. He said, um, "No, you know." You know what I think uh, it was WWE's way of killing me off television, but it was like, why did you, may, you know, have me debut on TV anyways? It was just a shitty thing. It wasn't really John's fault. And it being uh, me now, had it been me now and uh, we had done this match, it would have been a shoot and we would have lost that one. Now he talks about the JBL Mauro Nalo. He said, well, it's tough to say because Mauro, I know Mauro really well and he does take things really personally and I also know JBL has a reputation of being a bully and stuff like that so I think it could be a combination of a couple things uh, really bottom line is that Mauro Ronaldo uh, got a lot of uh, mental health issues and he's uh, pretty open about that on Twitter and everything so pretty much everybody with mental health issues shouldn't work in WWE um uh, it's not really the best work environment just because of the stress and everything I guess uh, I think that he probably takes things personally. Probably JBL was hazing him a bit, and he probably said, screw this, and snapped and said, you know, I've had enough, I'm leaving. I'm actually surprised he lasted that long. And I know how Mauro is. He's such a, gu uh, he's such a uh, good guy that's so passionate um, about the business, and he's almost passionate to a fault. You know what I mean? And then he says, uh, and you know... Uh, well, would have uh, and and you would have known him as well, and just with him, with his condition, I think it's a combination of both things. Now, Maronalo can leave WWE, and he's got his commentating for MMA, and he's got all kinds of stuff like that. He really doesn't need the place, but I'm surprised he lasted this long, to be honest with you. Um, and that's simply it. If you want to listen to the whole thing, go to Hannibal TV uh, for the transcription. So, thoughts on that? Um. <coughs> You know, the highlights, first of all, the highlights of the JBL issue with uh, with uh, Dave Boy Smith. Um, I think it was right here. I think it was here somewhere. I think, uh, let me read it because I'm trying to see it here. They, they gave me a link on this website, but I think it's here. On a recent uh, Monday Night Mayhem.com interview, um, Deanna Hart mentioned that JBL was shooting on her son, D.H. Smith, a few weeks back on Raw and wasn't too happy about it. Deanna described Layfield's marks to Harry, uh, how his family, his uh, how his father, his family, and not even God could save him from the beating he was going to take in their match as a cheap shot and does feel to an extent that Harry was raped and pillaged before the audience. So uh, this was in 2008 uh, where... Uh, Deanna Hart blasts JBL because JBL said uh, that, uh, you know, he was going to, you know, get a get a really bad beating. I don't know what this uh, what the reason was it for, but, uh, you know, in a recent interview, he, he did talk about uh, the the bizarre incident with that, which would happen many, many years ago. But if we're talking about what happened today or, you know, just recently, it's the interview with uh, with, uh, you know, Hannibal TV talking about. Mauro Ronaldo and JBL. Now, what I think is, it, it's sort of shocking to hear that he said that uh, it, it's it's a combination of both things. I, I would I would what I would 
assume or what you know when i heard this news article i would uh, i thought that it was going to be a total uh, uh uh you know a rip like a, like a, just a total uh, bash at jbl but apparently he he said right here that if you have mental health issues you shouldn't be working in the company and i think he's he's sort of stating the truth i think he might get some heat for that but i don't think he's lying because it is a stressful environment and we're not saying that mental health people shouldn't be working here we're just saying that if you can't take it and you have these issues you know i think you're going to have to reconsider right anybody can work here right and that's that's a known fact anybody can um but uh you know, we also don't even know the exact reason. Was it JBL that bullied him? Was it Vince McMahon telling JBL to bully him? Was it Vince bullying um, Maranol himself? Right. So the the inciting uh, incident isn't really known yet, or I mean, hasn't been fully confirmed. And so whatever happened here, you know, uh, we we still don't know. And so you know. The British Bulldog gives his thoughts. What do you think, man? This was a little bit surprising. He just talks about, uh, you know, how, uh, you know, he's got a lot of other things to do and work in WWE isn't really, you know, for him. He doesn't really need it. He doesn't need to be part of this. He can move on. And, uh, you know, he doesn't deny that JBL's still a, a, a guy who, uh, you know, ends up ripping people, you know, and uh, maybe Mauro Ronaldo was one of those targets from a long time. I, I said this before, you know, it was probably uh, something that, uh, you know, Vince didn't like from him and decided, you know what, the way to take this guy out is to, you know, I guess, attack his weak spot, right? That, now, when you li when you hear that, you're like, what kind of person does this, especially in a company? Seriously. it's It sounds like it's out of a movie. It sounds like it's out of a television show. Somebody, you know, coordinating people to do this, right? It's like, it's like the... Uh, the evil villain coordinating his his subjects to you know take out these people right it's like it's like vince taking that that's who he really is it's like backstage they're even playing characters you know it's it's very awkward it's very very shocking and uh you know davy boy smith saying absolutely nothing less is this is reading this overall i don't really expect much more a little bit shocked that he said the mental health people should be working here he might get heat for that as i said um He's surprised that Mauro did, lasted this long. Um, I'm surprised that, uh, you know, he was being bullied, If to be honest. I don't understand how you do that to a guy that has more potential than anybody. I mean, um, tonight, NXT TakeOver, we have JR who's calling the UK championship match. You know, you could have had Mauro Ronaldo call the UK tournament, you know. You missed out on that opportunity. And I'm not saying JR, JR uh, is obviously one of the greatest announcers, and I... I, I'm gonna have to say he's better than Morrow, right? In terms of WWE and calling, he's. But Morrow is. They're both close, right? But Jr. Obviously, uh, he was a great announcer. I watched it yesterday. It was great. Uh, as I said, he brings that real sport-like vibe. So does Morrow Ronaldo. But uh, I mean, if you had Morrow Ronaldo here, you could have, you know, had him be part of the UK tournament. Something that he could really bring out. Like he has his type of energy, his specific type of. Uh, you know, way that he brings out the energetic vibe, and Jr. has his own way, right? You could have had Mauro Ronaldo, right? But uh, you know, you, you had a very, very uh, close call and a very, very good uh, replacement in Jr. So you got lucky there. But again, you know, they missed out a lot of opportunities with uh, Mauro Ronaldo. I don't, I don't know if uh, he's going to be coming back. You know, uh, I don't know other announcers that may be coming here. People are saying that we got new NXT announcers. Um, we, I, I think I heard rumors that JR may be working for NXT and we got Tom Phillips who's moving up to SmackDown, um, uh, full time, Corey Graves on uh, raw full time, you know, you know, everybody moving away from NXT and I got Corey Graves or, uh, my bad. You got, uh, Nigel McGuinness, JR and, uh, Peter Watson on, uh, NXT television that, that I heard those rumors may happen, you know, now that we have JR. Um, if you didn't like Morrow, you could have put him on NXT, but I guess, you know, I don't know what Triple H didn't want him. I guess Vince fired him before he, he could get, to, or not fired him, you know, uh, caused him to leave before he even made that decision. Morrow had so many good possibilities here, but I think WWE didn't look at the possibilities. They looked at, you know, the number one issue in, in front of them, and that's him. They don't like his announcing. They didn't have other ways of fixing it. They didn't have, they just took him out. Right, there were other ways of dealing with this, but uh, I guess when you're a publicly traded company, it doesn't mean you're always mature. All right, so it's not a maturely traded company; it's just a publicly traded company. I will see you in the next video, man. NXT Takeover tonight. Check that out. 
Uh, it's going to be great. Also, Backlash this Sunday. I've, I've said it so many times. I don't want to say it anymore because I just want you to shut the hell up and watch it. All right. By the way, have you noticed I haven't sweared in a lot of my videos? All right. Please, YouTube. Uh, I'm begging you, man. Please. Please put those ads. Come on, man. I haven't said anything. I think I said shut the hell up. I said it again. But uh, at least I'm not saying those uh, uh, four-letter words that you guys always, uh, you know, Decide to sidetrack and not put ads in videos if you hear those words. Please put ads in my videos. All right. Anyways, I will see you in the next video. Um, you know, again, uh, this JBL controversy, if I get any more news, I will be talking about this. I'll be putting this in my JBL, um, what's it called? My uh, JBL bullying uh, playlist that I have on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I don't know if I'll put this on VidMe. I'm, I'm still uh, debating. We'll see how it goes, man. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.